Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the Ishin Jumper X68S. In the box we're getting the quadcopter, a USB adapter and a 1S 350mAh 25C rated LiPo battery. A charger is not included so you will have to supply your own one. This quadcopter is so small you can even fit it inside this giant Kinder Egg. You can see that it fits inside so maybe if you will be very lucky maybe you can get one of those in the next time you're gonna buy an easter egg probably not this quadcopter featuring 0703 15,000 kV brushless motors 600 TVL CMOS camera with a 25 milliwatt 32 channels transmitter the weight without the battery is 23.9 grams and if we add in the battery it's 34.4 grams, so this is an extremely light brushless quadcopter. The distance between the motors is 68 millimeters. And the frame is made of plastic, which doesn't look so durable, but we'll have to see how it will hold on on crash once we'll take it for a test flight. The battery is well secured underneath with this plastic part, so it doesn't look it's going to go anywhere. But you can see that once we put the quadcopter on the ground, it the motors are touching which is not so great and maybe a good idea will be to put here an extension so when we put it on the ground the motors are not going to touch it under the hood we have this fr sky compatible receiver of course this is the fr sky version in order to buy into the Terranis, you will have to put your Terranis on d8 channels one to eight then hit bind press this button and connect this quadcopter to a power either using the USB or to the provided battery and then the quadcopter will be bind. Once the bind procedure was successful you can see that we're getting a telemetry, telemetry feedback recovered. so you'll know that the quadcopter was bind properly. Now if you're looking for a USB port and you didn't find one or even for a JST film connector you're not gonna find any because it is located over here. So what you have to do, you have to connect this JST connector over here. It's a little bit tricky. I suggest that you should remove the camera before you do so. And be careful, also the camera is mounted on just these pins. So be very careful. It's very easy to bend one of those and then fixing it is gonna be a big trouble. So after you connected it in this manner, so the exposed pins need to face the left side. Then just connect it to the, the other end to the provided USB adapter. And then you can connect it to computer to configure it. We need to carefully disconnect this adapter and plug back the camera. The red wire has to be on the left side. This one is a little bit less fragile pin, but still be careful. And now we just need to put back the canopy. Setting the VTX channel is done by changing the pins on the bottom of the quadcopter. In the instruction manual, it doesn't say which one is which. You can use this table in order to set your favorite channel. Please notice that when the black is up, it means that the pin is up, which means right now my favorite band is 5860. So this is the setting that I'm using. So accordingly, you can see only this pin is up and all the rest of them are down. In case you're wondering, there is no built-in buzzer and no built OSD in this quadcopter that in my opinion, it's a big draw. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to take it for a test flight indoors and outdoors. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this cute quadcopter, feel free to ask it in the comments section below and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.